What if Harry Potter was in Slytherin? Let's talk about that. Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle, welcome to Freemus Reads, and welcome to a new segment that I'm starting called What If Wednesdays. Basically what this is going to be is me taking iconic moments in certain books or series and changing them. So for example, what if Harry Potter was sorted into Slytherin? Now I'm not going to go through year by year with Harry Potter and analyze all the different ways that this would be different because then I feel like this video would be half an hour long. If you guys do want that, then please let me know because I have notes and I could probably do something like that. So let me know in the comments below if that is something you want after you see this video. But I'm just going to talk about the most important things that I feel like would change if Harry had been sorted into Slytherin. I feel like Harry's personality altogether would not have been changed as much by going to Slytherin. I feel like he would have learned a little bit more self-control. Slytherins are cunning, so he would have thought more through his actions, but he would still have that bravery. He would still want to help other people. He would still essentially be Harry. He would just be a little bit smarter about it and wouldn't rush headlong into danger. So I the Golden Trio. I feel like Ron has a lot of prejudices towards the Slytherin house and it would be really difficult for him to let them go even though Harry is the boy who lives. I feel like that would be a rocky beginning for them. Hermione on the other hand, Harry and Hermione don't start developing their friendship until she is saved from the troll in the bathroom. Since Harry is no longer in her house, he may have not even known that she was in the bathroom. It's most likely that he would not be one of the ones who would rush to save her. That would have been a big dynamic change. I feel like Harry would have also not been Draco's friend, but they would have gotten along better. Draco would want to be Harry's friends just for influence and power, but eventually I feel like they would actually end up becoming friends. So. Slytherin House is always seen as this evil house that's always associated with the dark arts. With the boy who lived being sorted into that house, people would either freak out and feel like Harry is the next Dark Lord, or people would be forced to reevaluate their opinions that they have on the Slytherin House. It would give them a better chance to intermingle with the other houses who may have looked down upon them beforehand. Severus Snape, where do I begin? Severus Snape would have hated Harry no matter what, simply because of the fact that James was Harry's father. If Harry was sorted into Slytherin, I feel like Snape would have felt more responsibility for him. And he would be able to influence Harry and almost not guide him because I can't imagine Snape being a guiding factor, but I feel like he would grow to understand that Harry was not his father and instead maybe be a little bit more of a compass towards him, like guiding him towards the right path and the smart path. I think it would have been the ultimate revenge against James because Harry had been sorted into a house that James could not stand, that Snape himself was from. So the most important part would be Harry's dynamic with Voldemort. Voldemort would be much more scared of him this time around, and here's why. Harry defeated him as a baby. It was more because of Lily than anything. It was more because of what Lily did. So Voldemort is relying on the fact that it was only what Lily did that saved Harry. So when Harry gets sorted into his own house, he becomes a lot more wary of him. Harry would have the backing of a lot more Slytherins because he would be kind of their redeemer in a way. He, Even though yes, there would be those, probably half the house would hate Harry, the other half would look to him as a way to kind of showcase that they are not all the same and ultimately have a new beginning. A lot of Slytherins would support Harry, which would terrify Voldemort because he's relying on the Slytherin house and on their families to be his supporters. When the parcel mouth is revealed in the second book in canon, I feel like that would put him in a higher elevation status in the Slytherin house. House. It would make him more Slytherin in their eyes and more worthy of their loyalty. So that would also terrify Voldemort because yes, not only is Harry taking his supporters, but he has a trait that puts him on the same level of Voldemort himself. Honestly, I feel like it would have been almost better if Harry had been sorted in Slytherin because it allows for so much more character growth and complexities to happen to the other houses because Harry would still have that tie to Gryffindor with Ron and Hermione, but he would also be involved with Slytherin and he would have the chance to bring these houses who are enemies together. Together. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. Let me know if you guys if have any ideas for what other books I should try and analyze in the future. If you guys haven't seen my latest video, then make sure you stick around. I'll be playing right after this. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I try and upload bookish videos twice a week. But that is all that I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Matoa by Joylene Noel Butler, whose name I took six times to pronounce.